Hey there. I'm sorry about my hands. I uh, I just strangled a ballpoint pen user. Um, okay. Today I'm going to talk about a pen which looks like it suffered from a hernia or something. Um, yeah. So I was in a shop today and I, I saw this and I thought that's a pretty weird fountain pen. Let's buy it. It was very cheap. So I, I got it. This is a pen by Brownsville, which is a Dutch brand. It's been around for a long time. It's, I think it's most well known for its pencils. And the pen is called the Brownsville MXZ. This is a neoprene pen pouch that came with the pen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's first have a look at the pen. Why is it called MXZ? 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 I don't know how, to sh how you should pronounce that. In any case, no idea what the name. I mean, it's, it's just a bunch of letters. All right. The pen. Pretty weird. What's so weird about this pen? Well, this pen was designed to be ergonomic. Actually, check the website. <clears throat> and, um, yes, I have to drink in. Right, so, you can move this and twist these things, and that alters the shape of the pen. So, you hold it some way. I think this is a particularly nice configuration because it really seems, I can't really show you that very well, but it seems to fit the contours of your hand, which is not bad. Uh, I, I kind of like the idea. The problem is it just looks very odd to me. Now, it came in one of those clear plastic blister bubbles, and it came there, it was in there like this without the cap. So when I unpacked it, I was looking for the cap. I looked in the pen pouch, nothing there, nothing in the package. Then I realized that the way to cap this pen is to break off one of these weird twisting sections, put it on there. So in theory, you could buy another of these pens, take off the sections, add them to this pen, make it longer, until in the end you can be in your office four meters away from your desk and sort of use your pen like this to write something on your desk which is useful if you have a very large desk apart from that it doesn't really have a use now of course this is like the ultimate posting because the cap actually becomes part of the pen and it's you know it's it's even bigger and more pleasant to hold I guess so you can really alter this until it has the, the, the shape of your hand somewhat um, and I think that's a pretty nice concept I think it looks weird, but in the end I think it's nice. The grip section is somewhat triangular. This reminded me a bit of a Lamy Safari or Vista or All Star. They have this too, this very triangular thing. And actually, it's pretty pleasant to hold. So, it's nice. I have large hands and yet it's pretty comfortable. The nib is a very standard nib. It says Brunzel Iridium and that's it. It looks to be fairly fine, but it's not a hairline. So I would say this is a, a somewhat medium-like fine. Um, looks good. It's simple, but it writes pretty well. It's fairly smooth, and it actually gives you some line variation, which I enjoyed for such a, an inexpensive pen. So here you have it. Then let's have a look. It's kind of odd that you have to snap your pen in half to cap it, but okay. Let's have a look at the pen pouch. Well, the pen pouch, very interesting. It's neoprene, which is, well, you either like it or you don't, I guess. It's, it feels a bit typical. It says MXZ, whoops, MXZ on there. And um, it has this huge zipper. Now it's closed. Now it's open. Now it's open. Now it's closed. Shall I do that once more? Now it's closed. Now it's open. Um, that looks okay because you can just stick your pen in there. But the problem is that when you close it, you know, now it's closed. Um, 
The pouch is a lot bigger than the pen. Is that a problem? Yes, for me it is a problem. Because my finger is too big to fit in there, so I can feel the pen, but I can't really grab it because it gets stuck behind this part of the zipper. So I cannot stick two fingers in because my fingers are too big for that. Um, so I thought, well, I just turn it around, it'll fall out, but it didn't. So it's it, the, the pen gets stuck behind the zipper. So the only way you can get out your pen is to get your fingers here and sort of squeeze until your pen emerges, which is, to me, it felt somewhat obscene, actually. And then you take out your pen and you can write again. So it's a very fascinating pen pouch, but I don't have the feeling I'm going to be using that very much. The pen itself, most definitely, for my likes, decent enough. Weird shape as it has. Um, this is not helping. Okay. Anyway, I couldn't remove the feed, I couldn't remove the nib. I have tried, I couldn't do this. Uh, so cleaning is really a matter of getting out the... Ah, break the pen in half again. As you can see, it takes standard international cartridges. It's just a section I'm holding here. You can pull it out. You can probably uh, put in a, a bulb syringe or something and flush it with water, and that's it. That's so it's it's a, a pen you really need to flush through. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, enough talk. Let's have a look at how the pen writes. And that's it. So I hope this was useful. This was definitely the strangest looking pen I've ever reviewed. And I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay. Writing with the Branzil MXZ. I'll just have to adjust the shape a bit. Something like that. It's very pleasant to hold. I misspelled the name. Branzil. MXZ. The ink is some cartridge that came with it. I guess it's proprietary brand. I'm not. I'm not even sure of that. It doesn't really matter. It's a fairly standard blue. All right. Let's do some writing. The quick brown fox. had a, well, that's not a good word, had a peculiar Lee bent back, if you catch my drift. Right, so, some fast writing. Pen keeps up pretty well. Some minor skipping there, but even then there's still ink, uh, so that's, that's actually pretty good. Uh, laying down some ink. Well, it's a fine medium type of nib on the fine side. It's okay. It's not a very even patch, but it's okay. Maybe some line variation. Well, there's some there. So you definitely get some wider and some narrower lines, which is not such a bad thing. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. I can't tell you that much more about this pen. So, you're looking for a weirdly shaped pen? Get the MXZ. If not, I kind of understand. In any case, I thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.